What's up guys, Nolan here, and for those of you panic searching on YouTube because you got stabbed by a cultist, there is only one antidote named, literally, Antidote XTG-12. If you haven't looted it off any of the cultists, then you need to leave the raid as soon as possible or you will die after going through all of your meds. After you've successfully extracted, the poison will still be on you and you can have therapist heal it off you for 40,000 rubles or buy the antidote off of the flea market for whatever it might cost at that time. So there it is, if you are panic searching, that's all you need to know, good luck getting out. I've racked up dozens of cultist kills between on and offline raids, so today we're breaking down everything there is to know about the cultists in Escape from Tarkov. There's good news and bad news with these boys. The good news is that they have clear-cut times and locations where they spawn. They also have a very hard counter, which is thermals. They are seen just as well as any other AI through thermals. The bad news, however, is that they are insanely difficult to kill unless you get a lucky drop on them or have the right equipment, aka those thermals. They make no noise whatsoever, no matter what they are doing unless they are actively engaging you. They will sometimes laugh before they try to stab you and of course they have their weapons that they're going to be shooting if they are actively engaging you so that you can hear where they are. They do seem to tag and curse you once you are engaged with them. They can see through foliage and they do their best to ambush you as a group at the same exact time. Now if you want to avoid the cultists don't go on any map with a marked location aka woods, customs, shoreline, and reserve between the times of 2300 and 0500 period it's as easy as that if you have to go during those times then pay attention to where they specifically spawn on each map and then try to bring your least favorite friend with you as a cultist sweeper to run through the sketchy bushes you come across that usually does the trick on woods they have two general spawn locations in the new sunken town aka cultist town and they also spawn in a very wide area around the original mark circle where they can be found all the way up at dickhead rock all the way down to the sniper's cabin around the mark circle on shoreline, they can be found on Spine Rock between Villas and the Power Station, as well as the Sugan Village. On Customs, they can be found around the new construction building, aka the Fortress. There are issues with the spawns that may be compounded with possible bugginess and or a schedule that BSG have for them, but I'm not fully confident with that just yet. From what I can tell, the cultists have not been found on a reserve just yet. I personally think it's bugged due to the clutter of other non-AI scavs, aka with the multiple spawns of Raiders, as well as Gluhar and his his gang. There's also the fact that the cultists are found on every other map with a marked location, so they really should be on reserve at some point. The last point that I want to make here in terms of where these guys can be found is that you can loot and then lose the cultist knife. I myself picked up one and lost it the very next death. So as of right now, unless this is a bug, the cultist knife is not protected and you will lose it if someone loots it from you. This also means it's added to the confusion of where they can be found because I guarantee someone grabbed one and then went to a different map or at least a different location where they got killed someone looted them and then thought they found a cultist so they reported that on reddit or something so keep that in mind again if you get stabbed there is only one real remedy to this and that is the antidote xtg-12 if you survive the raid then therapist can heal the poison off of you but that costs at least 40k rubles depending on if that changes somehow over time or based on your rank with therapist i'm not quite sure with that i have also found the antidote on the cultists themselves especially on the shirt and again, if you want to avoid them, avoid any map with a marked location between the times of 2300 and 0500. Otherwise, if you can't bring a thermal with you, best of luck with that. In terms of numbers, there are from three to six cultists in any given raid that they spawn in, with one boss named Zhrek, aka Shrek, and his followers, which can number between two to five, called Sectants. These names will always stay the same. Zhrek, for all intents and purposes, is a scav boss, but with two differences where he can show up on multiple locations and it actually isn't a he, it's a they. Shrek is not a name, it's a title. So this isn't the same as other scav bosses, the Shrek will be different each time. So even though they are multiple people, I will stick to the same name for the sake of ease. All cultists can spawn with high tier end game loot and mostly shoot the best or second best ammo for the weapon that they have. Yes, they have guns and yes, they know how to use them. Initially and whenever you stumble across them, they will try to stab you, but they will follow it up very quickly with overwhelming firepower. I've seen them 
them with the new 45 vectors with FMJ and AP ammo, SVDs with SNB, AS valves with SPP, and AKs with BP along with an assortment of others. Again, all while wearing level 5 and even 6 armor. They will simultaneously ambush you where you could be walking through all 6 of them not knowing it, stumble across one, and before you know it, the other 5 are opening up on you. If this happens, you better hope that you have good armor and you popped a painkiller recently, or else there is practically nothing that you can do to survive that fight, you're probably going to die. Even if you have some good cover nearby, they will throw grenades and rush you. If you start getting the better of them in the fight, they know how to hide and run. By hiding, I mean sniper ghost warrior hide, and by run, I mean the full-on forest gump they fornicating hoof it. When they hide from you, they will try to go prone and be able to tell the difference between a good and bad spot to hide, where they sometimes decide to crouch or stand instead because they might be more visible when prone. When they do this, they actually turn away from you, making it more difficult for you to notice them as well. I've noticed the Shrek doing this more often than the Sectants, so it may just be him that does that, but I'm not certain. Unfortunately, they suffer from the same issues as most AI with grass, and any Armor 3 veterans will know this very well, where if they go prone in grass and decide to shoot you, you just will not see them while they can see you just fine. So keep that in mind. When you put this all together, you have easily the most difficult AI to fight in the game, hands down. However, like I've already mentioned, there is the caveat that the single weakness that they have is a very clear cut and easy weakness, which is thermals. If you know where to look and you have a thermal, you will catch them just sitting in bushes and you can easily pick them off, even more easily than normal AI as they won't be moving, they stay where they are when idle. When it comes to hunting them, once I started bringing a thermal with me, it was just game over. I started swamping them. But if you don't have thermals, then the Rolling Thunder works pretty well if you have a lot of nades. However, you will probably get the attention of the entire Novinsk region of Russia throwing these mini grenades, so be careful with that. Past a couple of the masks that have level 1, maybe level 2 armor or a high ricochet chance, I have never seen them with visors, so if you go for the head, they should go down. But again, they do wear level 5 and even 6 armor, including the new ones, and from what I can tell, they also have extra health, especially the Shrek. Now that's everything that I've gathered that's proven, but there's some extra theories and observations that I want to discuss about these guys. I already mentioned the fact that you can lose that knife, so that's going to add to the confusion of where these guys can be found. I've also noticed them running in the woods before I've actually started to engage them in groups of threes, leading me to believe that they don't always spawn where they ambush you. There's a possibility that if you stay ultra aware, you might be able to know when they're waiting for you, so keep that in mind. If they don't get activated, aka start fighting, then from what I can tell, they stay there, but if they do start fighting, then they will start to run from cover to cover or try to maneuver on you. There were several times where I disengaged and then didn't move for a while, and when I peeked, I could see them running to get shots on me or just to a new cover. Sometimes I even think they started to pace, but I'm not completely certain about that. This is more than likely circumstantial based on the cover that I was using or depending on how hurt they were. However, it does not hurt to try and wait a bit if you can, especially if they pin you down because it can be very overwhelming. One super important thing here is I think the Shrek will try to Marty dumb you with a grenade. He's the only one with the hood up, so if you see him coming at you, do not get close, especially after the first seconds when you kill him, because he will have very likely dropped a live grenade. Another thing I noticed is that they will spawn together with normal scabs and not kill the normal scabs, so you might hear or see normal scabs, think that it is just a normal scav, and then walk up to them with a cultist waiting right at your feet. If you want to get some practice in or just experience it for yourself, you can go offline with the difficulty and number set to as online. Make sure bosses are enabled. Then if you head to woods at the correct time, you will find them there at one of their spawns. They spawn on woods and shoreline like clockwork with this setup and it's actually a lot of fun. That is everything that I have on the mysterious cultists, but if you need more Tarkov news or content in your life, then check out these playlists here. If you like this video, then you know the drill. I really appreciate the people who do. Otherwise, I hope you at least learned something and I also hope you have a nice day. See you guys.